In the last video, I talked about calories versus macros. What's more important to you? And got a lot of great comments, good feedback and stuff, but I feel like I need to explain why I make these sorts of videos. Because admittedly, my thinking towards food and nutrition and stuff is very left of center and very liberal compared to a lot of the other things that you run across in the, the fitness media these days. But the fact of the matter is I'm coming after this approach, not from food. It, it's not about food. A diet, a healthy diet really isn't about food because here at the Red Delta Project, it's not about eating right, as I explain in my book. It's about eating healthy. And by healthy eating, I'm referring to much more than just physical health, but also emotional health. Because we human beings are emotional creatures. Everything we do comes from an emotional foundation. Even you deciding to watch this video is from an emotional place. And true healthy eating can only come when we have a positive emotional foundation to the choices that we're making. It doesn't matter what your diet looks like. It doesn't matter really what you're eating. If you're doing it from a negative place, it's still not going to be very healthy, which is why we have disordered eating and binging and purging and eating disorders and people feel guilty and anxious because they eat a couple cookies at a party and all these sorts of things. Negative emotional eating is the foundation for poor diets. Positive emotional eating is the foundation for healthy diets. And in the past few videos, I've had lots of comments and I could tell where people are coming from. Some people are like, I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and whole foods because I feel great. I love how it makes me feel. I love how it tastes. It uh, helps my performance in the gym. It's wonderful. This is a very healthy diet because they're coming to it from a healthy perspective, a very positive place. I'm doing these because I feel good about it. Now, there are other people who will say sugar is a poison, it's just as bad as cocaine, junk food should be made illegal, all these negative things. And this is coming from the message that permeates our fitness culture, which is the message of fear. I discuss this in my book about how the fear around food, any food, is worse than anything that can happen from actually eating the food. Now, in, my, in college, we studied uh, propaganda from World War II, both Japanese and American propaganda, because I was a Japanese major. And the propaganda was based on keeping people fearful, anxious, and nervous about the enemy. Because when people are afraid, they're easy to manipulate. And when you're doing that, you're constantly the, I hate to use the word, but a victim of someone else's agenda. Now I see this going on all the time with food. Fear sugar, fear fast food, fear processed food. As long as you're afraid of certain foods, that's the path to a healthy diet, but it's not. I guarantee your diet will not be healthy if you are making your decisions out of fear. You are making your choices from a very weak position. But when you're positive, you're coming to it with a very positive perspective, you're making your choices from a position of power and strength. And it, to a very large degree, what you're eating and the de decisions you're making are a vast secondary concern. Eating only fruits and vegetables because you're afraid of fast food and junk food is a poor diet. Eating a very liberal diet, but you're making very positive associations with a cookie that you eat at a party per se or a beer you have on a Saturday night is a healthy diet because your physical outcome from what you're eating is pales in comparison to the emotional baggage or product that you're bringing to the food. And that's why I make my videos. If we, can if we can bring a positive association to all the things that we're told we need to be afraid of, you stand a far better chance of eating way healthier and feeling way better, even if your diet isn't eating right. All right, in the next video, I'm gonna be talking about why we don't have to fear sugar, and in the video after that, how to eat sugar in a healthy way. Talk to you guys then. Be fit, live free. Hey, thanks for watching my video. You can check out more information on this related video here, or you can go over here to reddeltaproject.com where I've got free articles, more videos, free podcasts, which is where I put all my best stuff, and opt-in free eBooks because I don't need your email address in order to give you really cool stuff. See you over there.